what's up guys this is ed from elites of each today i'm going to be profiling uh pure zoo this is something that i've seen a lot of you guys play for a fat minute and i actually got a little curious to see how it would do uh, i tried it out at locos it's uh it's a really good deck it's really explosive but <laughs> one of the things that i have an issue with is that sometimes you don't quite necessarily open up the zoo that you need but if that's you know a requirement to go second like you need a specific zoo right so you either need the rat you need the barrage or you need the broad bull and <laughs> the ram in hand right um it, it can become it can become an issue so if you don't open up something like that going second then you're kind of done for uh this is a go second deck there's a lot of cards in here that will help you go second uh and we're gonna go ahead and get into them so you guys can uh see the profile let's get into it all right guys so starting off with the monsters let's go ahead and start off with all the zoo monsters um just the one rat because we're allowed to play one rat uh, and you want to max out on everything else so three thoroughblades three ram rams and then uh three whip tails i wish i had ot's i don't <laughs> but even like this the deck does really well uh, i've ran into situations where you only open up this and it's not good enough because then you only get that one monster and yeah of course you get a suze on field and that's cool and all but you kind of want to have a combo and sometimes you don't get that combo all right, guys, so we're going to continue with the rest of the monsters. You got to play, uh, in my opinion, you got to play three Ash. Uh, Ash is still kind of relevant, even though it's not the best hand trap personally to me. But, um, I mean, like, there is another card that you guys have been playing all in your main deck, but I'm currently not playing, which is the D-Shifter. I think it's good, but I don't think it's good enough to, like, main deck sometimes. Uh, DD Crow, you got to play two of. Alpha, you got to play two of. And then the one card that you do got to play three of, it's going to be Nibiru. Sorry about the glare. But Nibiru, you got to play three of it because a lot of the decks that you're going to be playing against are going to be combo heavy, especially like the virtual world and whatnot. And by the time they bring out the first Nibiru, <laughs> and then if 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 uh, if they're going to, if you think, I mean, I'm sorry, not the first Nibiru, the first uh, Calamities, and you think they're going to continue and they're going to make a bigger play to where they're going to bring out a second Calamities, just go ahead and hit them to where you can hit them. And then like that, it can't continue comboing off and uh, kind of ends their turn. And if they're going to only end up with one Calamity, then <laughs> you're definitely going to just destroy the whole, you know, <laughs> the hopes and dreams. Uh, Red Eyes and Dark Magician. I picked up this Italian Dark Magician the other day. I thought it was really cool. Um, so I'm really excited. And then I picked up this um, this Red Eyes, which I thought was definitely really cool. It has like the little thing in the, in the O, which kind of pissed me off, but it's not too bad. Um picked it up for moderately played <laughs> uh let's go ahead and continue uh the barrage because you got to play barrage three fire formation tanky and then this is where i defer from people's uh personal opinions about playing three potted desires i only play one i hate potted desires it's it's a card that especially in this deck because i play dragoon it's not going to be a lot of help but i do play desires and then i play two avarice which is actually really good i've run into situations where like I open up a red ice fusion, <laughs> use a red ice fusion, and then um, for whatever reason they get rid of like my my uh, dragoon. Uh, all I gotta do is just avarice, return the red ice, the, the dark magician, and the dragoon, and I'm kind of chilling because I do play a second fusion. <laughs> uh, you know, a lot of people don't really expect it, but if you play two, it's a lot better than just playing one. Uh, monster reborn and call by the grave monster reborn is really really busted because if they get rid of your one card combo or whatever or if, if you play through a hand trap or whatever and they just so happen to nibiru you you can still monster reborn and then at least be able to get out that zeus so attack and then bring out zeus and you're kind of chilling uh call by the grave you don't want to know how many freaking at least ashes i've caught with this already i've caught ash and i've caught draw uh no not draw i'm sorry i've caught ash and i've caught effect veiler already they effect veilered my verde and <laughs> they thought they had it and i was just like yeah let's go ahead and hit call by the grave with that um let's go ahead and continue for the last trap cards i played three <clears throat> ice dragon's prisms ice dragon's prism stupid I, I actually had a situation where i was dueling another suit player and i didn't have anything else so he made me go first i sent back row he did his thing. I knew brewed him. He ended his turn. Uh, on end phase, I go activate. And I think I had two. I was like, activate, activate. And I just specialed Bozus to my side of the field. And I just continued my combo and I destroyed their board. Uh, they didn't really have anything else. But like, I think it was like an imperm. So it was just like, I think it was like one imperm. And then like, 
I think I called by the grave, but I didn't have anything grave, so I was kind of chilling. I just went off of what they had. Um, three strikes. I've been holding on to these strikes since they first came out in the Mega Packs. I actually pulled these, which was really cool, uh, MP16s. Um, I've never gotten rid of these. These are super cool. I always thought that they were going to be good to play again, but since they were reprinted like a million times, and now you can get them for like a dollar, it kind of upset me because whenever I first got these, they were like 30 and uh, when I pulled them, I was like, yo, these are really valuable. I'm going to hold on for, to them forever. And I did. <laughs> so strike, really good. Uh, gets rid of inherent summons. So, I mean, like, if they're going to do that whole Zeus thing, just let them slap the Zeus. And as soon as they slap the Zeus, you just go strike. Okay? And you get rid of that shit. Uh, three Imperms. Because <laughs> Imperms are really good. Uh, I wish I was... Um, I wish I had, like foreign imperms these are euro but i wish i had them like in another language uh alex just picked up italian shout out to alex but <laughs> i kind of want germans because like germans like my number one like favorite language um let's go ahead and continue with the extra deck uh that's my token <laughs> pretty token um let's go ahead and one hammer kong uh two barbo because barbo's stupid i've never ran into the situation where i needed to make two target mortars if you play the deck right and you actually win uh, you don't have to make two tiger mortars because you can just go ahead and uh, pot of avarice everything back in and I've actually had situations where I've pot of avarice everything back in so I've never had to make that second tiger mortar uh, Chuck nine and Dryden. That's it for all the Sue monsters uh, Honestly, if <laughs> if Broadbow was back Broadbow would be busted if Dryden was at two it would be it would be good but you know what um, we're just gonna have to wait for the next ban list to come out I am thinking that they might give us this back at two because uh, it wouldn't be too busted. I mean, like, it's still whatever. Uh, it's really not that not that great. Uh, I do play my, my Killer B. Killer B is freaking awesome. All you got to do is just, if you, if you can't, <laughs> if you don't feel confident enough to attack with, like, a Barbo directly, because they might have an Imperm or whatever, just slap this shit on top of that. Attack your opponent. It will do piercing damage. And then on your on your main face, just slap that Zeus on top of that, and you're chilling. I was playing two Zeus at the last uh, locals that I played, but I believe that playing two Zeus is just, like, not necessary, and, um, it's, it's kind of weird, because now I'm playing a Mascarena and, uh, and an Avermax. I wasn't playing this the day that I was playing at locals. I was playing two of these, and I just never ran into the situation of making two. Uh, one was just, it was fair enough. It was, it was there. You, you had it when you needed it. You made it when you needed it um infinite track mega clops stupid and then you get your verde and your dragoon uh i've had situations where i never make uh mascarena because i was playing mascarena with two zoos i just didn't play this and then i felt like i had a situation where like i didn't just need to make this but i also needed to just make another link and this was the thing that i kind of like thought like hey you know what i should just play it because it's gonna be good um but yeah that's it for the main deck that's all the extra deck main deck stuff uh hopefully you guys like what i play i'm gonna show you guys some like the side deck cards that i play it's not really mandatory for you to play anything so, like similar to what i play but these are just some good ideas and stuff that i've played with um and this is good against the mirror match <laughs> uh i was playing i was playing a guy uh mirror match on monday at locos and um i activated barrage and then he he chained Dryden, and then I just chained Gamma, and then I just continued to OTK. I was just like, yeah, this is this is too good. Uh, after that, I had Shifter. <laughs> With Shifter, it's it's a love hate relationship because if you open up one and then you see another one later on, you're gonna fucking hate it. And trust me, you will hate it. I hated it. Um, Dro, uh, Dro is really really good. Uh, kills off uh, Dragon Link. I haven't seen Dragon Link since like two weeks ago now. But going back to this, if you can, cut this to two, and you'll probably see it less, but see it enough to where you'll probably want to see it. The third, DD Crow, because I think DD Crow is really good, especially against, like, uh, Eldritch. You, they activate the trap card, you just hit it, and they're done. Uh, Lancia is also good against uh, Eldritch and or Invoked. And then Harpies. Uh, Feather Duster, because, you know, you there's not really a lot of back, like, back row heavy decks un unless you're playing, like, Eldritch or, like, Numeron. But... You're kind of chilling uh but yeah guys this is just some of the options you can play for your side deck let me know what you guys think uh this is thanksgiving day guys so happy thanksgiving to everybody hopefully i bring it out the day of thanksgiving uh if i don't just i hope you guys had a lot of fun ate a lot of food and got really fucking drunk have a good day guys